What is up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we got some good news and we got some bad news. First of all, the good news, the Season 9 update release date is not delayed guys. Repeat, Season 9 update release date is not delayed. Was the whole thing today on the social medias, Reddit, Facebook, uh, and Twitter. Oh my god, Season 9 delayed again? They delayed the Season 9 again? Well guys, fake news, it is not delayed. And we got once again today, like 3 hours ago, official source from Call of Duty Mobile again confirmed there's no delay. We're gonna check it out guys. And also some bad news, you guys not gonna like it, we're gonna check the Reddit post. So let's get started. Before we start, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel right now for daily COD Mobile videos. And of course, smash that like if you're excited for Season 9. So let's go on Reddit to start and see the official word once again for the Season 9 release date confirmation. And once again, guys, it is not delayed. They posted another official post today, four hours ago. It's Tuesday right now, 7 p.m. So they posted this this afternoon uh, from the founder community lead here on Reddit. Uh, another post about the COD Mobile Gunsmith coming this week. And remember about the COD Mobile Season 9 update release date. It was supposed to come out last week. Of course, it was delayed to this week. I posted a video Friday and I said they confirmed the release date is going to be this week. Right now, as we speak, it was scheduled for this week because of a previous delay. But it's not been delayed again. They confirmed there's no release date officially but it's coming this week. Now, yesterday I posted another video and from an official post made yesterday, once again, COD Mobile Activision said the update is still scheduled for this week. Now, today guys, three hours ago, sticky in the comments, when's the release date? When is the season nine coming? No dates for anyone, not yet. They, they refuse to reveal an official date. They never did. But like they said in the community update, and still today, guys, it is coming this week, okay? We have to follow the procedure, not announcing a specific date, but it's still scheduled for this week. So why people say it's delayed again? It's not delayed. It was announced for this week. It's still coming this week. You guys need to freaking chill. You should see the Reddit right now. It's freaking disgusting, guys. Now, the reason, though, why people say it's delayed I think it's because they saw something here on the battle pass. It says five days remaining for the battle pass. Probably because that number changed. But still it doesn't change the fact. You can put any number there. You can put 15 days. You can put 35 days. There's nothing that's going to change. That the update is coming this week. Until they announce officially we're going to have another delay. Nothing changed. Now this is the kind of post we get. The devs are getting hate because of the delay. But they're not explaining nothing. Yo, first of all, there's no delay, so there's nothing to explain, right? No delay, guys. Not another one three hours ago. Are you mad about another Season 9 delay? No, I'm not mad because there's no delay, so... What the hell, guys? What's wrong with you guys? Another one. Stop delaying the damn season. It's not delayed, so we cannot stop. Now look at this one, the drama. Sadly, with each delay... What delay exactly? I can feel my life force slowly draining out the universe. With each delay? There's been one delay. Get over it. But anyways, let's get on with the uh, other post and the bad news, guys, because I told you we got good news. But the good news is the update's not delayed. You guys can still expect the update this week. I'm super hyped, by the way. Now, what's the bad news? They made a post about the gunsmith explaining some features and more precision about what to expect in the upcoming gunsmith now gunsmith has gone mobile and they revealed here well if you guys check the beta videos and stuff like that maybe you know but they're explaining in the previous version you had uh four slots one for the optics and three extra slots for attachments that you can customize your weapons now when the new gunsmith arrives you can take any primary weapon and pistol and customize the following attachments. So you're going to have optic customizations, lasers, muzzle, barrel, under barrel, ammunition, rear grip, and stock and perk. Okay, we're going to have perks on weapons still, guys. Now, here's the deal. And they say 
right here over the picture. You can place an attachment on any of the nine slots. That's what they say. And you can have up to five unique attachments equipped at one time. So yes, there's nine slots, but apparently you can only have five at once uh, and probably only five uniques. Like they say, you cannot have like two, uh, two mags and, and three uh, uh, lasers or whatever. It doesn't make sense. But and again, you can see the, the camos here at the bottom. So probably all the camos that you have unlocked will be there. You can scroll and select the camo that you want. So once again, they say most attachments will not only affect the appearance, but also affect the weapons functionality in game. So expect recoil modifications, fire rate and all that. So it's going to be extremely customizable. A lot of changes in the meta you guys can expect. And once again, uh, pre-attached via blueprints. We said the epics and the legendaries will be blueprints now, not just camos. Now here's the bad news. Secondary weapon outside of pistols can also go to a gunsmith, although their customizations is limited to only cosmetic changes. So you can bring your rocket launcher and baseball bat and put some camos. But they say, in other words, you cannot equip a sniper scope on a baseball bat as tempting as it sounds you will not be able to put a sniper scope on a baseball bat yo what is it a freaking joke they said endless possibilities i wanted to put a scope on my baseball bat they lied to us this is a scam cut mobile scam they lied to us yo this is unacceptable unacceptable I mean, I want to put a sniper on my baseball bat. We'll see if we can still put sniper scopes on the knife. That would be freaking insane. And also a suppressor maybe or something. An extended mag. That would be epic, dudes. But hey, that one's from the Reddit. Uh, super cool image. And I've seen a few of these in the past couple of weeks. Now, whatever you want to say, guys, it's still going to be a cool update. And uh, yeah, gunsmith weapon changes. There's a lot to read. I'm not gonna go into details here. So once again, guys, go on the Reddit and take a second to read that post. We did talk about it quite a bit this week. Now, what about the pre-patch skins? There's a lot of questions on my YouTube comments. What's gonna happen with all my weapons? If I have like 15 different AK-117, what's gonna happen with that? Well, they say your weapons, if they're uncommons and rares, it's gonna be skins or camels. So it's not like you're losing your weapons. You're gonna take your base AK, and you can slap any camo on it from all the camos you have unlocked in the previous versions of the game. So it's not lost. The only thing is lost though is the XP. If you leveled up a lot of AK-117s, well, only your highest level will carry. So if you have a level 12 AK-117, your AK is gonna start at level 12 in the new update. But all your other AKs, they're just going to be gone. And you probably won't get back the XP. And once again, 10 loadouts, guys. That's good news. Camos, 60 plus, 50 plus attachments and 60 levels to level up your weapon from 12 in the previous version. So that should be exciting, guys. Really hyped for the new update. Once again, smash like if you're excited. And once again, the update is not delayed. Good news. It's still coming this week officially until they post an official announcement that the update is getting another delay, it is not. And then once again, bad news, we cannot put scopes on the baseball bat, so that's freaking sad. F in the comments, guys. And like if you cried, hopefully we can get 50 likes on that video. That would be insane. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Smash like. I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care.